Ever since he betrayed his own people by creating the Daleks, Davros has coveted the position of supreme leader of the Empire that his children created. Despite being murdered by his Daleks not long after their initial activation, Davros has always considered them to be his children, despite the many times that they have imprisoned or abused him. Even at points in his life when it seemed as though he had abandoned his creations altogether, such as during the Juggernaut program or earlier during his time working for TAI, Davros has always secretly held the desire to lead his creations in their conquest of the universe, to receive praise from them and to use them to further his own goal of causing misery and suffering throughout the universe. However, in pursuing this goal of usurping the Dalek Emperor and taking control of the Dalek race, Davros unwittingly set himself down a path that would almost destroy him entirely, not physically, but psychologically. Davros was finally able to achieve his dream of becoming Emperor Dalek when he created his Imperial Dalek faction, which led to the Dalek Civil War between Daleks loyal to Davros and Daleks loyal to the Dalek Supreme. During this war, Davros held the title of Dalek Emperor, though his reign over the Imperial Daleks would come to an end at the hands of the Seventh Doctor, who tricked Davros into using the Hand of Omega, a Time Lord's stellar manipulator, which devastated Scaro and destroyed the Dalek Mothership, forcing Davros to flee in an escape pod. At the apparent culmination of his grand plan, his scheme had failed, and the Emperor of the Imperial Daleks was left drifting alone in space. Davros would eventually find his way back to civilization, being rescued by spacers who he later murdered, and spending some time on the planet Azimuth, and was later held captive by the race of Lemuria, who enacted punishment on Davros for his crimes and left him drifting in space once again. His mind weakened, Davros looked to his past and recalled the idea for a virus that could destroy all life, the hypothetical virus suggested by the Fourth Doctor during his dialogue with Davros on Scaro before the Daleks were first unleashed. Davros would go on to create this virus, as well as a new faction of Daleks, but in the process his mind became increasingly affected by another personality, that of the Dalek Emperor. Davros and the Dalek Emperor persona, either a manifestation of Dalek leadership or a symptom of Davros's insanity, fought an intense internal battle, which was further complicated by the interference of the Eighth Doctor, who foiled Davros's plans to unleash the virus by convincing the Daleks that Davros was no longer a capable leader. The Dalek Emperor persona took control, and Davros was left as an echo of his former self, as the Dalek Emperor occupied his body and led the new Dalek faction. Some accounts refer to this as one of the many deaths of Davros, but like all his other supposed demises, Davros was able to cheat this death by wrestling control of his body back from the Dalek Emperor persona. The advent of the Time War may have assisted Davros in his plight, as there were several Dalek Emperors active in the prelude to the war, including the Restoration Emperor, who allegedly rose from the ashes of the Imperial Dalek faction alongside the Dalek Prime Strategist, who according to some accounts, would later take up the mantle of Dalek Emperor himself. A new Dalek Emperor would also be resurrected over Koska in the Gulf of Ethon during the Time War by the Dalek Time Strategist, which coincidentally used versions of Davros from across the multiverse to manifest a physical form for the Dalek Emperor, allowing him to return to the universe and lead the Daleks once again. The existence of these other Emperors explains why Davros was seemingly cleansed of the Dalek Emperor persona during the first year of the Time War, despite being resurrected himself during the same scheme as an amalgamation of his different forms from across the multiverse, Davros expressed disgust and rage at the fact that the Dalek Emperor had also been created to supplant him, illustrating how little Davros had learned from his experience as the Dalek Emperor. The fact that there are so many conflicting accounts of what happened to Davros after the events of Remembrance of the Daleks and the Time War, as well as even more conflicting accounts of Davros's role in the Time War itself, is a testament to just how entangled and messy the Dalek timeline had become in the prelude to the Time War, likely one of the main reasons for the outbreak of the war itself. Davros would be supposedly killed for the final time in the first year of the war, though Dalek Khan later ensured that he survived, and the rest is history. What do you think of Davros's tumultuous history with the Dalek Emperor in the time between Remembrance of the Daleks and the Stolen Earth and Journey's End? Do you think that the various stories explaining what happened to Davros can be rationalised, using the Time War or a multiverse theory? If not, how many of the various post-Remembrance of the Daleks Davros stories do you consider to be the true continuation of Davros's story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.